Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Truth Be Told. Thank you for joining me. I just want to praise and glorify God's name today. Uh, thank Him for His uh, presence in our lives. I pray that you touch us, Lord, that you reveal yourself to us, that you meet us where we are today, Lord, in the glorious mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hey, everybody. I want to talk to you about your bank accounts. Have you ever been to the point where you're on low, honey, and you've got bills coming out, and you're all worried and anxiety starts to build up because we don't have enough in our account to cover our bills? That's a horrible feeling, right? But something even worse than that is your spiritual bank account. Some of us have been on empty negative for years now. We're not even aware of it. I'm going to show you what happens when you are empty in your spiritual bank account. Ooh, it ain't nothing good. I'd rather be empty in my physical bank account because I know that's temporary than my spiritual bank account because, ooh, the consequences are really severe. So in 2 Corinthians 9 8, it says, And God is able to bless you abundantly so that in all things and in all times, having more and all that you need. Hallelujah. So we serve an abundant God. So what happens is, what happened was, <laughs> Uh, when your spiritual bank account is lacking, is empty, let me explain what happens. When life comes at you, you have nothing to draw from, right? You can't give what you don't have. So unless you allow God to deposit the fruits of the spirit, which is the joy, the love, the peace, the kindness, forgiveness, self-control into your account, you can't draw for something. So when something happens, an incident, an illness, a breakup, a loss of a job, whatever, you get life, just life comes at us, right? We got nothing to draw from. And so we break down. That's what the enemy uses to break us, right? But when we are in overflow status, have you ever had, I don't know, but have ever you had a nice amount of money in your bank account? Were you comfortable? You, you, you coasting. No matter what comes, you know, you got to paint the house, you got it. You want to take a trip, you got it. You know, something happens, the car broke down, you got it. You rolling like that? It's a nice feeling, right? Imagine being like that spiritually, where you know you got more than enough, that you got everything you need, you are on overflow status. So the enemy's gonna come at you, you're like, nah, I got it, nah, I got it. What? Who's sick? Nah, I got it. What? I lost whose job? Nah, I got it. That's where I'm talking from. I pray that you allow God to deposit until you are on overflow status. Because see, we forget, we're, we, we got a joint account, y'all. It's not your name on that account, it's only your name, but guess whose name is on there? Uh huh, the principal. Is Jesus honey that's Jesus account that you're drawing from honey you just he just added you to his account which means he's got oh according to his riches and glory honey you need to access your principle on your account which is Jesus baby we need to draw from Jesus account he's already paid for everything so that's where I need you to be I pray that you are an overflow status honey that your spiritual bank account got so many zeros honey is gonna blind the enemy <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for joining me, honey. I am on Overflow Street and Abundance Avenue. Where you at? Holla.